Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves for an oratorical excursion into the tumultuous seas of online content creation, where Andrew Schulz, with the finesse of a rhetorical gladiator, engages in a verbal joust with the denizens of fresh and fit. It, it, not that he couldn't come on, but like we couldn't do it in the time that he said. Are you beef with my mans? Nah, I like Vlad, bro. You pin a case on you too. Axe, Axe mad at me. Why is that mad at you? I don't lie, my man's from Fresh and Fit was like, yo, damn, yo, that dude still hating on us, man. Wait a minute, what's, what's up with Fresh and Fit? Are they, they still chilling? doing it? They cooling. But are they still doing the pod? Yeah, of course, you mean they're still doing it. You not watch it? <laughs> I didn't know man. that they were still doing the pod. Where can you, you watch? you think they died? <laughs> no, I don't know, maybe. They got demonetized, you know, it was a minor setback for a major comeback. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, don't laugh like that. <laughs> <laughs> that was disrespectful. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but you're tell cookies. us, so what's going on? Like, are they still, but they're still doing a pod. They're still doing a pod, man. That's you know, fire, they, they got some different monetization strategies. <laughs> you know, get, what else are they working on? What's their different monetization strategies? Yo, what's up with y'all, man? Yo, <laughs> no, what's, they, what's their different monetization strategies? Nah, hold on, man. I don't like how y'all, I feel like y'all been You brought them up. up. I ain't bring them up. You brought them up. Don't be upset at us I'm doing like y'all praying on my man's downfall. Praying on downfall? Praying? You asked me if we watched their podcast. I'm a 40-year-old man who's happy. Why would I watch that podcast? Bro, <laughs> Mary, bro. Yeah, Mary. 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 I only watch it when I'm fighting with my wife. <laughs> oh, really? I'll be like, these guys get me. <laughs> <laughs> these guys understand, bro. They understand Yo, women. Yeah, Four days every month you, that it, I watch that shit probably. You want <laughs> Yo, you, Four hits. days every On month. the red days. <laughs> On the red, red days. You red day, I'm playing for real. No, but for real, can no. you still watch it? Do they have their own it, website? Or how bro, do you watch it? It's on YouTube pod? still. What do you think it's at? I thought the podcast got taken off YouTube. No, it got demonetized. That's the new what way. What does that mean? So that mean, YouTube. Daddy said they can't make money. Well, yeah, yeah, YouTube is doing this new thing, which, by the way, I'm going to be honest with you. I think a lot of people are celebrating this just because right now it's affecting people that they don't like, but it's going to affect everybody because no, they're sucks. using it as a tool, mm. right? And it's Whoa. not. They're it's using it for poli- freedom of speech. They're using it for political people, like, for example, yeah. St- Stephen Crowder. They're like, are Yo. you sure? Huh? Are you sure? What? This is all going to happen? No, it's happening now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's happened to... So what, do know, they, what are they saying you can't do? What, what is the guideline? What is... I mean, it... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yo, so what, 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 all of our yo, come on, fill us in, in, bro. Yo, yo, check it out. Check it out. You keep on bringing these things up and being bashful. Yeah. No, no, because... Just go watch... Fresh and, how do they watch it? On YouTube. Go to YouTube.com, type in Fresh Why and Fit, this my guys and right scroll now? to the bottom of the front. <laughs> <laughs> well, why y'all this my guys? give them a couple bucks, yo. Yeah. Give Fresh and Fit a couple <laughs> bucks. I don't think they can get donations anymore. They can't get donations? I don't. Well, not to, wait, wait, what's Is there up? a PayPal or something? I thought you guys were cool. Yo, we going to set up a GoFundMe for Fresh and Fit. <laughs> <laughs> we going to set up a cool GoFundMe for Fresh and Fit. No, you never liked it for the get one. I had no problem with Fresh and Fit. Nah, you hated it. Nah. Yo, we're fan- we brought them on the pod. We're fans. You clowned the hell out of them. Or you tried to. Me? We gave him a fresh, uh, fresh and fit shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, y'all, y'all, y'all for real, shit, Tell man. us the website where they we could donate to them. YouTube.com. No, because they can't get donations. They're demonetized. Oh, you How can we give them money? Why, why are you dissing huh? them? You How know can they we can't. give them money? No, Rumble.com. Just go to Rumble.com. Oh, so and then we could give them money on Rumble? Yeah, yeah. So, okay. You've been saying YouTube this whole time. They've been on Rumble. Yeah, they're on both. They're on both? Yes. Oh, wow. Why aren't you guys on Rumble? Well, because we're not forced to be. Yeah. <laughs> Usually you What's go to Rumble if you're forced to be. No, no, no. But, but I do think we're in the age where I think you should use all platforms. I yeah, like, I I like, I like that Tucker Carlson is putting shit on X. I agree. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I, I think you're supposed like, look, well, look at Tucker's me. Tucker's doing me. it on X for a different reason. But yeah. I'm on YouTube. I'm on Rumble. I'm on Facebook. I'm put, yo, I'm streaming on Facebook. Tucker's not on X. There's th- This is high level media chess if you want to know why Tucker's on X. Like the highest Break down level the play. Break down the play. Chess. Because I don't get it. All right. So. Because I, I seen um, um what's my guy from um, Value Team? He was like, yo, oh, we offered him. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, yo, we offered him hundred million dollars. A million. And that was real. I asked him about it. Yeah, but like it sounds like No, it was real. He had a hundred million liquid. Patrick's got more than that liquid. Really? Yeah. But I mean, I don't want to count pockets, but yeah, he I could always do count it. pockets. That's my thing. But you don't need it liquid. I to do offer love it. that you do that. Of course. I, I'm yeah. Anyway. I'm in rap, you got to. But yeah, you can, too much shit. I mean, it's public. His yeah. pockets are public. You sell a company, it's public. Oh, which company is it? Sell? His company. The discourse unfolds like an ancient symposium, where the musings of Schulz and DJ academics paint a vivid tapestry of skepticism and bemusement. In the grand amphitheater of digital discourse, 
Schulz, donned in the armor of wit and sarcasm, raises his rhetorical spear against fresh and fit. The mention that he only consumes their content in the throes of marital discord becomes a rhetorical flourish, akin to a satirical quip from Aristophanes, questioning the perceived value of their podcast. The lamentation of fresh and fits demonetization on YouTube becomes a modern-day tragedy, reminiscent of the fates of Sisyphus and Tantalus, eternally grappling with the consequences of their actions. Schulz, the Greek chorus of skepticism, questions the very essence of their success, a Socratic inquiry into the elixir that sustains their digital existence. The celebration of YouTube's new policies affecting content creators becomes a metaphorical Bacchanalian revelry, where the gods of the algorithm cast their capricious judgments upon the mortal creators. Schulz, the Prometheus of online comedy, peers into the digital firmament, pondering the motives of those reveling in the misfortunes of their peers. The need to stay in the good graces of YouTube, akin to propitiating the gods of Mount Olympus, becomes a paramount consideration for those who dare to venture into the vast expanse of the digital pantheon. In this contemporary amphitheater, where creators showcase their digital prowess, the algorithms wield a metaphorical thunderbolt, determining the fates of content creators with capricious precision. Schulz, the wily strategist, understands the imperative of appeasing these digital deities to secure a coveted spot within the algorithmic heavens. The demonetization of fresh and fit serves as a cautionary tale, a modern Sisyphean ordeal where creators, like Sisyphus pushing his boulder, must grapple with the ever-shifting policies and preferences of the algorithmic gods. The celebration of such misfortunes, akin to reveling in the trials of Job, underscores the shade and frid that permeates the digital agora. In the grand tapestry of online creation, where views and subscriptions are the modern currency of fame, staying in the good graces of YouTube becomes a Machiavellian necessity. The algorithmic favor, akin to the benevolence of a monarch, ensures the continued visibility and prosperity of digital realms, making it a Socratic imperative to understand and navigate the algorithmic intricacies. Schulz, with the discernment of a Delphic oracle, recognizes that the algorithms are not impartial judges but rather discerning deities swayed by the whims of user engagement, trends, and the elusive concept of virality. To secure their favor requires a dance of strategic content creation, a choreography that Schulz, with his savvy insights, orchestrates with finesse. The polytheistic nature of digital platforms, with YouTube as a chief deity, necessitates a pantheon of content creators to engage in a diplomatic dance to avoid the wrath of deplatforming or demonetization. Schulz, the diplomatic envoy, offers sagacious counsel on this intricate dance, urging creators to understand the nuances of the algorithmic dance flow. The diversification of platforms, as Schulz endorses, becomes a strategic alliance with lesser-known deities, a pantheon where Rumble, Twitch, and other platforms join the celestial council of content distribution. The wisdom of spreading one's influence across multiple platforms, akin to an imperial conquest, ensures resilience against the unpredictable tides of algorithmic favor. The conversation metamorphoses into a discussion on the wisdom of diversifying content distribution across multiple platforms, with Tucker Carlson as the Homeric hero who navigates the tumultuous waters of media. The analogy of fresh and fit on both YouTube and Rumble becomes a strategic maneuver, akin to the military prowess of Alexander the Great, expanding his conquests across continents. Schulz, the sagacious strategist, lends his endorsement to the utilization of all available platforms, a Machiavellian counsel that echoes the art of war in the digital realm. The nod to Tucker Carlson becomes a rhetorical triumph, as Schulz, with the oratory finesse of Cicero, advocates for a media empire that spans the vast landscape of online distribution. In conclusion, the conversation between Schulz and DJ academics, 
akin to an intellectual gladiatorial bout, unveils the nuances of the digital arena. The skepticism, sarcasm, and strategic insights pepper the discourse, creating a rhetorical mosaic where contemporary content creators grapple with the whims of digital deities. As Schulz's words echo through the corridors of online discourse, one cannot help but ponder the ever-shifting tides of internet fame and the eternal quest for digital glory.